On 17th and 18th of August, City Bible Forum is hosting Tracy Trinitar, a former supermodel who's going to come and share her story. Now, Sharon Tool has been helping me organize the events. Now, Sharon, what should people expect at the two events that we have next week? Well, both at the lunchtime and the after work event, we'll get a chance to hear Tracy's story. Yep. We'll also get a chance to ask some questions. Both mm -hmm. you and I are going to be interviewing her. Yeah, that's right. So I'll be interviewing her at the lunchtime Logos Live event, and you'll be interviewing her at the evening event at the Trust. Um, yep. And so, do you have any questions that you want to ask her in particular? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'd love to know whether she eats KFC. What, why is that? Because uh, I, I love KFC. Well, uh, do you think models would eat KFC or just eat it all? I believe they they have to they have to eat somehow. I suppose, yeah. yeah. Uh, KFC um, is a top choice. So yeah. I feel like we could we could be friends and, and click. Okay. And what about Nando's? Would that be suitable? No, no. We've told you many times. No. no. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Would you do you have any questions that you'd like to ask Tracy? Well, I do have a question. I think she talks about in her story. She talks about how she wasn't happy. Now I find that very hard to believe at one level. She was successful, she was at the top of her game, she was rich, she was travelling the world, she was modelling, uh, yet she said there was an emptiness and a lack of happiness in her life. Now I just find that a little bit hard to believe at one level. So I'd like to probe and ask her what did this emptiness, this lack of happiness look like and how was it resolved? Um, because that, that's at the heart of her story I think and that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to asking her about and hearing at the events. Oh fantastic. Yeah. Very similar to that. I'm also looking forward to hearing her story, of course, uh, but also hearing how her story might impact others mm. and seeing that influence play out, I think, is going to be yeah. very exciting and yeah. very interesting. Well, I think there are going to be a couple of terrific events. Now, you might not realise this, Sharon, but I've actually done some modelling in the past as well. Really? Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean that to be offensive. No, well, uh, uh, no, no, not... Do yeah, no, no. It was actually when I was a child. It's actually uh, Model Railways. It's one of my favourite uh, pastimes. And uh, you, you, you seem a little bit sceptical. Uh, not sceptical about the <laughs> hobby, uh, just think, the your definition of modelling yeah, might be a bit different. Do you to think Tracy would be. would be interested in model railways? Because oh, I was thinking of asking her, because in the Logos Live we have a quiz, and I was just wondering maybe if we should ask Tracy about her knowledge of model railways. That was what I was thinking of using for the quiz. You could always try, Rob, you can always try. You don't think it'll, do you think it'll go well? It might. It might. <laughs> anyway. You can find out next week to see what we quiz uh, Tracy Trinitar about. Two events, at lunchtime, Logos Live on the 17th of August and after work at the Trust on the 18th of August. It'll be terrific events to hear Tracy and her story and we look forward to seeing you then.